Good evening, T Speaker 222 with the ISO headquarters. It's 9.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on this Sunday, September 25th, 2022 here on the East Coast. I can't thank everybody enough here as we're up to 1,060 followers, subscribers, and it's actually been pretty remarkable. Not the last video, but the video before we had 4,200 views. And that's just simply incredible how quickly we're going through the analytics. So I can't thank everybody enough. As I do have a partnered page, if you haven't seen it before, it's XRP Future Millionaire. We're just shy of 14,000 uh, subscribers. So that's my main focus. But I decided to do this ISO headquarters to give us uh, some information on the ISO, on the digital flip, and um, just what's coming up here with the flip of the HTML framework here in the banking systems. But this has to do with not only the ISO, but SWIFT as well. And it gives us a little information here. This just came out September 26, 2022 here in September. If you could give me a like, that would be fantastic. If you're watching from the XRB Future Millionaire audience, feel blessed that I'm sharing this with you particularly, um, personally, so that you can see that this channel exists because somebody for the last, oh, I don't know, several months, or has given many many probably over a hundred different updates about the iso and this dates back about 10 to 11 months i took a few months off when there was nothing really going on and you know that i had to um do what i had to do but this is a headquarters here for the iso this will give you the information i did a lot on the hyperledger as well the hyperledger protocol if you're not familiar get used to it i've talked about the internet of things in here and many other things so austrax reporting entity system transformation program update September 26, 2022. The Reporting Entity System Transformation REST program has recently undertaken a series of workshops with participants of the Customer Advisory Group on the Austrac Online User Interface. And this will prove that SWIFT is integrating the ISO 20022 and actually switching to it. So with everybody who says SWIFT will be eliminated with the ISO 20022, full of shit. The workshop involved 67 participants from 37 reporting entities from across 15 different industry groups, which each provided feedback of their experience using Austrac Online. Participants were asked for feedback on how they currently navigate Austrac Online, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't care about their website. You guys can read through this if you would like. This is at uh, Austrac's reporting. So it's austrac.gov.au if you want to get this information. So ISO 20022 updates for financial institutions. Austrac also continues to work to support reporting entities impacted by SWIFT. SWIFT's move to ISO 20022 format for cross-border messaging with uplifts to bulk. Dot XML and machine-to-machine -machine reporting. So this is telling you right here. It's from a government website as well. ISO 20022 format. So... Austract also continues to work to support reporting entities impacted by SWIFT's move to ISO 20022. So they are going to be up in time with the new cross-border payment. So anybody who tells you otherwise, stop listening to. It's that simple. I started this page to give factual information about the ISO 20022. And I've talked a lot about SWIFT and many other updates because it's part of the plan, unfortunately. This includes the development of the new IFTI-E version 2.0 schema that allows for the submission of IFTI-ES in the ISO 20022 format, along with a new user interface and API system connectivity for increased submission capacity. The new functionality has now been released into the Austract online training environment enabling impacted reporting entities to commence testing their IFTI-E reporting. And then coming up, over the next few months, the Rust program will reach out to customer advisory group members for input to stream. So this is if you want to get involved with this. But that's the information that I was able to find when it comes to SWIFT. So this is another official page, though, that links the fact that SWIFT is actually integrating the new ISO 20022 HTML framework and implementing the cross-border payments when a lot of people, especially... The XRP community and a lot of the social media influencers in that community will speak of the fact that XRP is taking over for Swift and Vice, you know, uh, Swift is going to be taken out. That's not the case. I believe very strongly in XRP, but that's just not the case for anybody watching in my uh, XRP Future Millionaire page. And everybody, <clears throat> to show you how far back this methodology goes, 
in this thought process. This is a video that they put out for everybody in 2012, although they were gaslighting the whole industry to let us know what was going on. But this was actually put out in 2012 to kind of introduce us by way of YouTube they used for the ISO 20022. And it's interesting to see, and I'll show you a couple different examples of what the ISO 20022 is when they streamline it. But look at what they showed in 2012. And then I'll show you a couple current examples. When people communicate, they often get confused and end up misunderstanding each other. Take the word football, for instance. It might mean one thing to an American and something entirely different to a Brit. Well, it's no different in the business world, where the stakes are way higher. Here, a simple misunderstanding can lead to disastrous consequences. So how do you improve communication? make sense of different meanings, standards, and formats, and get everyone in the financial sector on the same page. Easy. By using ISO 20022, the international... Look at this. Just pay attention. This goes back a very long way. A very long way. And this I had to pause the old archives. This is from 2012. Like, I'm, like I said, this is crazy how far back this goes. But to think they're talking about this ideology all the way back then is remarkable. Just remarkable standard that's designed to simplify global business communication. You see, ISO 20022 solves communication confusion. How? Well, it offers a global dictionary of common language that everyone can understand, so information can be processed and exchanged worldwide, clearly and consistently, making it easier than ever to communicate financial information between people and systems. What's more, ISO 20022 is a free and open standard which means that anyone, anywhere, can add their two cents to the dictionary to help write and build solid business standards right across the globe. Not only does ISO 20022 streamline communication for payments, securities, funds, foreign exchange trading, and credit card sectors, it also reduces risk big time. ISO 20022, because common understanding leads to effective communication and makes doing business a whole lot easier. To learn more about I and then for anybody who hasn't seen this and I've shared this before this is from 2021 and this is like an updated model and I use this one in particular because it shows Swift in the beginning so it's telling you even in 2021 that Swift is going to be part of this they wouldn't just show it so pay attention to this as well because these are all valuable things and with everything I put in this video understand Swift is going to be part of this big transformation they're not going anywhere Payments are entering a new era with ISO 20022, the new language for domestic payments and correspondent banking. And corporate customers are set to benefit thanks to the advanced reconciliation and treasury opportunities the new standard makes possible. Let's take an example. Coffee Co. is a boutique importer, roaster, and distributor of coffee beans based in London. Coffee Co.'s supplier in Indonesia has asked to be paid in U.S. dollars to its local account. Coffee Co. is happy to do this and, to make life easier, has agreed with its supplier to aggregate multiple invoices into a single payment. The batch of invoices to be paid includes one invoice that is not correct and needs adjustment and a credit note from a previous transaction that needs to be reconciled. Coffee Co. would like to present all this information in a single instruction, with a single payment setting the entire net amount outstanding. Using today's MT standard, they would not be able to do that. There is not enough room in the remittance field to describe all that is needed in a structured way that can be automatically processed. With an ISO 20022 based instruction, though Coffee Co. can pay all outstanding invoices, apply a credit note and contest a line item on an invoice. A single payment can describe multiple rich and structured elements, including dedicated fields to differentiate between commercial invoices, credit notes, and invoices that need adjustment. Declare local purpose codes required to report to the Indonesian regulator, uniquely identify invoices in the buyer's ERP for easier reconciliation, and, in cases of dispute, the amount to be adjusted and reason for adjustment. All parties in the payment chain know exactly what is being paid and settled, and there is no need for a single phone call or email. All this information can be reconciled. 
and immediately post it to CopyCo and its supplier's ERP system, significantly driving supply chain and working capital efficiency. Corporates are ready. And with the adoption of ISO 20022 in correspondent banking and all major reserve currencies, end-to-end -end payments will be rich and structured, enabling the next generation of treasury services and a new era for corporate payments. ISO 20022. Quality data means quality payments. Make sure to hit that like button. It would really help me out. And also hit that subscribe button. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments if you have any ideas for what you would like for uh, me to cover with the ISO. But I'm going to continue to stay diligent. And I hope this helped you to better understand, maybe a little understanding of what the ISO 20022 is. And why SWIFT is very much a big player in this bigger game.